Hey friends, how do you find peace even when you hurt? So you feel that pain in your body, in your neck, in your shoulders, in your back, you feel that tension all over. And you think that you need to relieve the pain, that will give you peace. But I'm here to suggest something different. I'm Stephanie Carter Kelly, a physical therapist that uses yoga in everything that I do. And I help people with chronic musculo, musculoskeletal pain. So back pain, neck pain, knee pain, ankle pain, shoulder pain, you name it, it's persistent. And it's been living with you for a long time. And it keeps you from doing the things that you love. It keeps you from the people that you love. So that's the key. How can we return to more of what we love? Find that peace, even when you hurt. So the first thing is to pay attention. So many times when we have chronic pain, we want to block out that pain. We want to distract ourselves. And some of us do activities in order to block ourselves from feeling that tension and that pain. I'm suggesting that you need to lean into the pain. You need to feel it. You need to feel that it fluctuates up and down. You, you sometimes have periods where there's no pain. So instead of continuing to resist the sensations that you feel in your body, I think you should lean into it and really feel what's going on. The next thing is that you need to accept where you are right now in this moment, not wish that you were doing something else or that you had a different life without pain. You need to quiet and accept where you are right now. So when you combine the feeling with the accepting, that will bring you just a little bit closer to peace. The next thing is get really curious. So much we have this rigidity in our thoughts about what is the cause of this pain. And that fixed mindset, that rigid mindset, that rigid belief about what the pain is, whether it's because of a procedure that you had that left you in pain, an injury that maybe was an accident to the cause of somebody else that left you in pain, that blaming of someone else for where you are right now does not bring you any peace. So instead, what you might do is just open to the curiosity that there's some reason why you're still experiencing pain. If you had an injury, if you had a procedure, and that was months ago or even years ago, your body has most likely healed from that incidence. Maybe you didn't have any in, in, maybe you didn't have any injury. You don't remember any reason for why you should have pain. So if you pay attention, accept where you are in this present moment, open with this curiosity, you will open to a little bit of peace. You'll begin to feel a flow of energy inside your body. When you begin to release some of that tension and that rigidity in your body by getting quiet and still and breathing and meditating, maybe moving gently, all of those things can lead you to the right place. Letting go of what you've heard before, maybe what other people have told you about your pain, you could bring that in as guidance, but not with this fixed idea of that's the cause. And therefore I can do nothing about it because I'm telling you that you can do a lot about it. Find some peace so that you can get long term lasting relief of your pain. I would love for you to join me today. I will be right back here at three o'clock Eastern Standard Time for a longer session about peace out of pain. And today the focus is on the body. So come and join me today. I'm Stephanie Carter Kelly, a physical therapist that uses yoga in everything that I do to find peace. Namaste.